Ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves back here in special session again. Because the majority party would rather play pressure politics than send Senate Bill 1 to the governor so he can take action on the bill and then allow the General Assembly to respond accordingly. Let's get something straight off the beginning here. Our taxpayers, teachers, and students deserve a more thoughtful process than what we've demonstrated so far. Negotiations are only negotiations if both parties are engaged, not like what we've seen before where Democrats negotiate amongst themselves in private, implore Republicans to negotiate against ourselves in public, ultimately the Democrats add some small, reasonably palatable version of a lower priority Republican request to their bill, call it a compromise, tell us that we're not reasonable for not supporting 90% of what we asked for, then jam their version of the bill down our throats by putting on the board and demanding bipartisan support. These pressure tactics create an unnecessary crisis based on unmanageable pressure with a terrifying deadline that gives us a sense that there's no other alternative and the state is at some point of no return. Welcome to the Illinois House of Representatives where public policy is only considered if it supports a political end game of maintaining or expanding political power. With this special session, we should be making sure that school is open on time. We shouldn't be waiting another single hour. One of the superintendents in my district explained to me the calendar this way. Payments need to go out on August 10th. That means the vouchers have to go from ISBE to the comptroller by August 3rd. Today is August 26th. Time is wasting while Democrats continue to play chicken with our school children, teachers, and parents. Where is SB1? I know it's in the Senate. Why is it still stuck in the Senate? It's stuck there because we're waiting to find if we can build enough pressure to get to 70 votes in this chamber. It's my understanding that there was a real agreement before the tr special treatment for Chicago got put in the BICS. Let's get back to work, and it starts by sending the bill to the governor. Thank you.